Men, what's your creepy girl story? Once, an acquaintance added me on Facebook. When I clicked on her profile, it said she was in a relationship with someone. That someone was a fake account of me with my picture. Met a girl online, we chat and set up a date. Date goes fine she's a little weird, a little sheltered but seems nice. Not much chemistry but I think that can take some time so we give it another go have a second date. Confirm I have no interest in a relationship with this girl on the second date so we talk it out no hard feelings let's be friends. Fast forward 1.5 years I'm in my kitchen with some friends getting ready to go out for my birthday dinner when we hear a knock on the door. I go check and no one is there but there is a box with my name on it. There is a card and some gifts which would be nice if this girl had ever been to my house before. I had moved since our two dates and still have no idea how she found me. Girl in my dorm. She had a crush on my roommate. My roommate clearly didn't like and told her several times. Things got out of hand and there were times where my roommate would come running back to the room yelling lock the door, lock the door and moments later the girl and her friend would try to come barge in without permission. What's creepy is this next part. Apparently one night we accidentally left our room unlocked and she decided to sneak in and rub our heads. We didn't wake up but her roommate told us what she did a couple days later. I haven't seen her in about a year and I'm quite glad. This younger girl who I never even spoke to once in high school had a crush on me. I got a note from her in my locker asking if I wanted to go out with her. I had no idea of how to get it back to her, so I just wrote no and taped it to my locker. Then she started following me everywhere. I would try to talk to her, but she would just keep walking away, pretending I wasn't talking to her. This goes on for like two years. Then I was hanging out by myself one day around the neighborhood, and she comes walking up with three guys who wanted to kick my ass for some dumb unrelated stuff. She somehow found out about it and brought them to me. After an embarrassing scene with me diffusing the situation with these angry gentlemen, they leave, and she finally sits down on the curb right next to me and starts flirting. All I could do was just stare at her enormous bangs with a WTF expression until she got embarrassed and left. Our high school basketball team had a female student manager. When we had games at other schools, she would always come up with a reason to need to get something in the locker room when we were showering. But we were so used to her, I guess no one said anything? Coaches probably should have stepped in there. I was bored once at a small, local festival and didn't want to be there so I just got a drink and started walking around aimlessly when I noticed a fire breather. The display was interesting and she was pretty hot, when she was on break she went to get a drink and we started talking. She seemed nice, we had a laugh but her break was up and she resumed her display so I left her to it and continued to wander around. Five minutes later security was called to her display. Turns out some crazy girl whom I had never met before was following me around the festival and assaulted the fire breather, she had claimed that we, me and crazy, were together and fire breather was trying to break us up. I was in New Orleans watching some street performers go crazy and a mom came up behind me and fully grabbed both of my ass cheeks, I was 18 and standing next to both of my parents and she said hey you remind me of my son which is probably one of the weirdest things to say in that moment. I started going to a new doctor, the receptionist was cute, so I flirted a bit dot in a waiting room, with other patients around. It was pretty innocent, she reciprocated, I figured it was all in good fun. She escalated a bit, stuff like scheduling me for days she was there, calling me directly with reminders, etc. Then she went into the records, got my cell number, and started texting me. Telling me she wants to meet up, she's not happy with her husband. I noped out as fast as I could. A few months ago, I was walking home from school when this drunk middle-aged woman grabbed me by the arm, wrapped me in a bear hug against a wall, and started grinding on me. I wasn't interested. I had an exam the next morning, and I was just trying to get home. She wouldn't let me go, and she forced my hands onto her breasts and in between her legs, luckily this was over close. She also started punching me for no reason as well as saying extremely racist Asian stereotypes, I'm Asian. Eventually, I got away but I've never fully recovered from the experience. Not a guy myself, but one I dated had a couple fun stories. One was a girl he got set up with by friends on a blind date. As they went out to dinner, they passed a jewelry store, and she insisted on going in so they could pick out rings for when they get engaged. He paid for dinner and noped right out. 
The second one went better until he took her back to her place, where she went to the kitchen, pulled a nice big, sharp chef's knife, and told him he was staying the night. He said, I did what any red-blooded American male would do. Agreed but said I needed to go to the bathroom, where I promptly crawled out the window and never saw her again. Not a man but the creepy girl. My dad told me that when I was little and had something bothering me at night, I would sneak up to him and stare at him until he woke up. He described my white nightgown, plushy and the moonlight slash lantern light hitting me as very unsettling. I had a friend who went absolutely crazy after her boyfriend broke up with her. Cutting, trying to force him to get back together, getting him kicked out of the group to isolate him only for it to backfire and throw a fit. Etc. and that was only freshman year. When he started dating another girl from our group senior year she pretended to be cool only to lie to the girl and try and convince her to break up with him because he was definitely texting her last night. Oh and also he told her he hated her, and that she was ugly, and that he actually loved her, crazy girl, and was only with the new girl to make her jealous. We were kids, early teens. I thought she was mad cute. She was telling me how once she pushed a boy she liked off the swings and he broke his arm. She was bragging about it. And she liked me now. Cool, I thought. I will now proceed to never see you again. It was my ex-girlfriend, I didn't realize she was creepy until I tried to end it and failed. First few times were my fault for being weak-willed, dumb, all that stuff. She offered me sex or something else, or just treated me kindly for a while and I thought things can be okay again and I resumed the relationship. At some point I actually learned my lesson though, but it was at that point I realized she was actually my crazy ex. And it was sad. The stories are many and crazy, but long and short of it is, she told everyone we were together more than a year after I had really ended it. She enrolled at my university, giving up her dream of a different school she'd always wanted to go to, and actually got into, just so she could cross paths with me. Enrolled in a class I was teaching a lab for without me knowing. Showed up randomly at my parents' house, told them we were together still. It was when I was back in school. There was this girl who used to sit just behind my seat. She was good looking but was very distant from everybody and talked with nobody. Her social skills was zero. But I tried talking to her. We get to know each other. I thought we became friends. We started sitting on the same seat. One day she said, I know why you're friends with me. I said, why? She says, you want this right? Then she pulls her skirt slightly up and pandy down and showed me her privates whose image is imprinted in my memory. We were 16 by the way. Then she giggles. I looked at her exhibition and then back into her eyes. I could see a psychotic smile on her face. She was the creepiest girl I've ever met in my entire life. Started dating a girl who lived like an hour away so we only saw each other occasionally. One day when I'm out she decides to drive to my home and gets my roommate to let her into my room where she proceeds to stick those glow-in-the-dark stars literally all over my room. And then leaves. I come home after being at a party where there was liquor and weed and my roommate is asleep so doesn't tell me anything. Lay in bed still drunk and high, click off the lights and proceeded to think I was losing my mind because I couldn't tell if I was inside or outside looking at the night sky. Roommate didn't tell me until the next day. Long long time ago I went on one date with a girl that I barely knew through a friend. Went bowling, I lived in a small town, had an okay time, nothing even remotely physical, and I just wasn't into her so we didn't go out after that. About a month later her brother shows up at Walmart where I was working and threatened to kick my ass. As you can imagine, I was confused. She apparently was telling everyone that her and I were dating, that I told her I loved her. And then I proceeded to cheat and break up with her, probably when her friends and family were asking where I was and when they could meet me. She was so devastated by this imaginary relationship that she decided to have her brother kick my ass. Thankfully he listened to my side of the story and left, still mad, but he left. My ass remained unkicked. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.